Okay, so the very first thing you need to do is look at your home page or your dashboard. For some of you, it says dashboard. It'll say my subjects. You have your published courses at the top and then your unpublished courses at the bottom. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is go into your unpublished course or courses. You're going to go into manage subjects. And then on the right side, you want to hit publish. Okay, so this moves it up so that students can see the course card. If there's nothing in the course, they still won't be able to see it, but this makes it so students can see the course card. From here, you'll want to choose your image and your banner. And I like blue, so I'm gonna put blue as my color, but you choose whatever you want. Okay, then I need to go all the way down to the bottom to where it says grade sync on our menu right here. I'm gonna go into utilities and I'm going to turn on nightly grade sync. So this should be green, okay? That's the second thing you have to do when setting up your course is make sure nightly sync is turned on. And finally, I'm going to go into assignments. This one is a little bit complicated, okay? So depending on how you have your PowerSchool set up, you will need to add groups that match or that match your power school. So here's the thing. If you have created your own categories in power school, you might want these to match those categories. So, and then we're going to do test. Okay. So now I'm going to go up to the top and I'm going to sync sys categories. Okay, see how it says unassociated? I need to click on this. And um, okay, so it's assignment, so I'm gonna change, I'm going to sync it to classwork. I'm also going to sync classwork to classwork. That way, no matter which category it goes in, it'll still sync to PowerSchool to the correct category. Participation, we're going to put in project, and then test, we will put in test. Okay, now that I've synced to my categories, I should get, people call this the share row or the paper arrow. That means that my categories are synced. So now whenever I put an assignment in the category, it will sync to PowerSchool if it has the double greens. And finally, the last thing you're going to want to do is look at the assignment groups weight in Canvas, and you're going to want to weight the final grade based on assignment groups, and then add in the percentages. Now, if you're going to do this, you do not have to. This is not required from us. If your principal or your department is doing this, then make sure that they match your course in Power Teacher Pro. So in here, you're going to need to go to your categories, make sure that they are active, go into your settings, traditional grade calculations, and then make sure that you have set this up to match. So right now this says total points. So in Canvas, I should not be weighting my categories so that it stays total points. However, if I want to set up percentages, I just go in here, I put in my percentage, okay? So I put in my weight for each of my categories. So we're gonna go category weighting, classwork, and I want this to be 50%, okay? Then in Canvas, classwork needs to be 50%, and that's how it needs to match. So just so everyone knows, if you're going to weight your categories, make sure that they match from PowerSchool and Canvas. All right, after you've done those four things, your course is ready to go.